Okay, this is a very quick video in which I want to show you how you can connect a screen or projector to mirror your teach pendant um, of a universal robot. Um, I use this for teaching um, because it's much easier to, to, um, for students to look at a big screen than to all um, yeah, huddle around the, the tiny teach pendant. And um, the first thing that you need to make sure is that you connect whatever screen you want to connect before turning on the robot. Otherwise, um, the output, the um, display port output of the robot will not be activated. And the display port output will be located inside of the um, control box. And this is a mini display port uh, cable. And um, the easiest way to connect any kind of screen is to probably have a screen that also has a, a mini display port connection. And then you can just use a basically a male to male display port, mini display port to um, full size display port cable and connect um, your screen. There we go. And um, this should connect your, uh, your screen to the, to the robot. Um, most screens and most projectors probably don't have a display port um, connection. In this case, you need an adapter. Um, I have this adapter here. It's a yeah, uh, HDMI to mini display port connector, but you need to make sure that this is an active um, adapter and there are active and passive adapters. So make sure that um, whatever adapter you choose is, is explicitly um, labeled as active. Otherwise this won't work. There's multiple kinds of, of active adapters. Um, yeah, there's this, this kind, and then there's also um, this kind of adapter that has an additional USB cable attached to it. I'm not entirely sure what they're meant for or how they're supposed to be used, but I didn't have any luck um, connecting these to projectors or to screens, um, no matter how I would uh, connect them or, uh, yeah. So it's probably better to go uh, with, this kind of, with this kind of adapter. I will leave a link to the one that I'm using in the description. and. Um, you should have no problem there. So if your screen does not have a display port input, you will need to connect your adapter. Of course, do this before you turn on the robot. And then plug in your HDMI cable um, to mirror your screen. Um, one more thing, you should probably not disconnect the cable while the robot is running. I was just doing this to, to um, keep this video as short as possible, but um, sometimes you get a weird error, um, a display, uh, display error, um, if you connect or disconnect your, um, your display port cable while the robot is running. So um, make sure you set up everything before you start your robot, and then hopefully uh, you don't need to touch it um, while the robot is running.